and welcome to the Critically Coolest. I'm the Monk and today I'm doing a review on Aircraft Evolution. So I just want to do a quick shout out to Sometimes You who sent me this review code. Uh, thank you very much for the game. Uh, it's actually really fun. Now Aircraft Evolution is an action game where you take on the task of destroying enemy bases by bombing them from your aircraft. Now you start off in a wooden plane and by the end of your experience you should have some kind of futuristic jet. There's four different eras you start off from uh, and I believe every single one's got 15 levels in them. When it comes to the options of the game you're extremely limited there really isn't much you can do. Um, you kind of expect that with these sort of games. There are the different um, the different planes you can buy, they are level locked, so you have to grind up through the, the, the game in order to unlock them. Unfortunately, I found that I always needed a higher leveled plane um, than maybe the era that I was actually in. Um, so maybe that's a slight oversight with this game here. Uh, this game will currently set you back at about £6 on Steam or £8.36 on the Xbox currently. Considering this is an uh, indie game, it looks actually really, really nice. It sounds great too. Um, I have also had no crashes with this game and there was also no lag. So this game run really, really smoothly, which I was excited about. The in-store shop is completely in-store. There's no um, tr micro transactions, which is really good to see. I feel like they possibly could have given you micro transactions in this game. I'm really glad that they stayed away from this. Um, you can buy like you know different types of bombs and stuff like that but you can also re-grind levels and as you're going through the level you can actually pick up air crates which have fuel or um, something to repair your airplane different types of bombs normally just the basic bombs um, but still it's nice to see that the game does offer you these things um, there's also a bonus level now there's not a bonus level in every single era which I found out but there are a couple of them as you go through the game. You can't repeat them, unfortunately. But basically, the bonus levels are just full of all of the um, the pickups and drops that you can get, all the special bombs and fuel as well. Now, when it comes to fuel, I didn't actually find that I needed it at all. You, you have the option to speed up your plane. You have the option to fire rockets, your machine gun, and drop your bombs, um, which is quite good. It's quite simplistic, um, but I really did enjoy myself playing this game. As you complete every level, you gain XP, and that will level you up. I found that, unfortunately, I was at max level um, halfway through the game. So, again, maybe that could have been addressed too. Uh, I feel like the early part of the game, you needed to do a lot more grinding um, than was actually necessary. Um, to level yourself up, to get yourself better planes, to get yourself more currency to buy new bombs or maybe even to upgrade your plane. Um, but like I said, unfortunately, halfway through the game, I found myself at max level with the best aircraft in the game. And it was completely leveled up as well. So there's a slight balancing problem with this game. But like I said, it was really enjoyable. Age range as well, my daughter seems to really enjoy this game. So... You know, it's good for young, it's good for old, it's good for everyone really. Um, and again, like I said, it is priced right and it does look and sound great too. And the bosses in this game that you encounter are actually a little bit um, challenging, which is nice. It's nice that the, the actual level plays out pretty well. Like I said, sometimes you'll, you'll come across a level that you should, especially early game, you just shouldn't be on yet. Um, and then you're gonna have to go backwards and you're gonna have to regrind another level and I feel like you know There's a bit of a problem there um, With that, but we've already mentioned the balancing other than that This was a really great game to play very enjoyable and for that reason, you know I'm gonna give this game a 6 out of 10. That's actually uh, the biggest score that any indie games actually got on our channel at the moment um, And it's definitely deserving of that Like I said, this was a really enjoyable game 
Uh, one that I can recommend anyone just to pick up and play. Like I said, it's so cheap that you might as well play it. Might as well pick it up and have a bubble. You'll definitely have many hours, or at least a few hours, of playing this game before you're completely maxed out. Now, I haven't even completed this game yet, and I've spent a few hours in it. Like I said, I have got the best plane, and it is completely maxed out. I will be going back to this game as well. So, you know, plus is there. Anyway, I've been the Monk and we've been the Critically Clueless. If you enjoyed this video, maybe think about liking and subscribing. And tell me your thoughts about this game. Have you played it? Would you play it? And what did you think of it? We always love hearing you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a really great day. And uh, we'll catch you again soon.